This is a quick tutorial on how to create a respawn checkpoint system in Unreal Engine. Right now, I'm just using the standard third-person template. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is create a blueprint actor. I'm just going to call this respawn checkpoint. Inside of here, I'm going to add two things, a box collision. I'm going to check uncheck hidden in game so that we can see it. And then I'm going to add an arrow and call this spawn location. Inside of the construction script, I'm going to drag the box. I'm going to type box extent, set box extent. Drag this out and promote to a variable. It's going to leave the name as is. Make sure to check the eyeball here. Now we're going to set the default size to 32 by 32 by 32. And then for the spawn location, we are going to set relative location. Now I can promote this to a variable. Spawn point vector. Make sure to check the eyeball for that one too. Okay, so we should be good there. And I'll put this in the regular game. The reason that we made those two variables is so that now we can extend the size of the checkpoint. And we can change the location of the spawn point, which is that aerial. The arrow right there will be the respawn location. And then when the player overlaps with this, it will trigger that a checkpoint has been made. So we're done here. Now we're going to go into the character. This is just a regular third person character. I'm trying to create a custom event. Call this new spawn location. Now we're going to create a variable called respawn location. Make sure that it's a vector. Now for this custom event, add a single input, call it new spawn point. That will be a vector. And we're just going to set this one. And that's it for that one. Now create another custom event called respawn event. I'm going to drag the capsule component and set visibility. Leave that blank. Now drag the character movement and stop movement immediately. You also want to set movement mode to none. Then we're going to make a delay can drag this out and promote it to a variable. Just going to call it respawn delay. And then we can just copy these two. Set this to true and then set this one to walking. Okay, now let's, in here, we want to set world location. We're going to set the world location to the respawn. Make sure that you click teleport. If you don't click this, it will bump into anything that's in the way. Uh, let's see. Oh, forgot to plug these in. I have to plug in movement mode. There we go. Now back inside of the respawn checkpoint, 
we can delete this, click on the box, and we're going to create an overlap event, cast to the character, so you call it respawn character, and then we're going to call this custom event that we made new spawn location. We're going to get this spawn location and get world location. You can't plug this one in because that's set to the relative location, so it won't work. You have to use the world location. Then we should be good there, but this will cause errors if you don't have some type of a branch statement. So it would be more efficient to just put a branch here and we'll call this overlapped. It's false, set it to true so that it can't overlap over and over. And that should be good. Now we're just going to create a temporary test button, number one. This will just respawn. It will trigger the respawn event. Uh, if you try this without overlapping, though, it will definitely cause a bunch of errors because you haven't created it yet when you, until you overlap. So we're going to overlap first. Overlap the box. And if I click 1, yeah, the respawn event's not in a good place. So, okay, so the main issue is here with this event. Putting the branch in the way was causing some issues. If I get rid of that, and it goes back to normal. And they respawn. Okay, so you'll have to come up with some type of 